Hey guys, how's it going? Today I brought to present you brand new 2014 Chevrolet Cobalt and this is going to be full in-depth tour of the Cobalt We'll start up, show the engine, go on some performance details, show you a bunch of interesting features in the exterior, so also interior. And so, here's the key. Flip key. Let's start the engine. Not run for a while. Lock and lock. Trunk button. White pearl exterior, beautiful color in my opinion. Very light doors, very wide opening. Two ton interior. This car has two airbags. Three spoke design wheel, fake lantern, very nice. Very nice setup. Digital speed launcher. This car comes equipped with hydraulic assist per steering component, very fluid, four. <laughs> Manual tilt to just use the right there. Alright then, let's turn on the headlight, high beam, front here fog lights, as well as hatch lights. Farmers, they also heat it. Power windows, front, and here. Power window lock, chrome door handle, right now, step in the head, and take a look the exterior of this car. Lever right here, search for the driver. Of course, panel dim, half headlights. Beautiful tail lights, single exhaust, license plate lights, front trim, rear defrost and glass, third brake light, Fifteen inch wheels, tires measuring one eighty five sixty five, four wheel disc brakes. Tires ceiling kits on front fenders. Huge halogen headlamps.
halogen fog lights. Chrome accent grill, huge Chevrolet emblem. This car has in line 4, 16 valve, 1.5 liter, normally spread engine, it produces 105 horsepower, maximum speed of 170 km per hour, 0 to 6 time is 11.7 seconds. Combined fuel consumption for this car is around 7.5 liter per 100 km. The car is front wheel drive. And right now guys, take a good look. The exterior let's take a good look at the interior portion, the most interesting part. Two tone door panels, also padded, beautiful. Storage, bottom holder and speaker right there. High pressure. Driver seat has manual adjustment. Center seat high, recline, and sliding right there. Seats are quite comfortable. Adjustable headrests and belts. And right now guys, let's see what kind of noise this engine produces. This car has rough limit around 3000 rpm.
quite easy to read gauges, very beautiful, light and key controls, driver information system right here, and your wiper controls. Average fuel economy right now is not correct, distance to empty, trip, adapter, quite nice. Overall build quality and all the materials are pretty cheap. You can find hard touch plastic. As you can see start shop top. Passenger back indicator, central lock. Audio with four speakers, set temperature, digital clock, power button, you can adjust volume, of course. Race and lowered volume, six customizable stations, uh, different settings right here, auxiliary input, information, configuration, your language, and it's pretty much self explanatory. Time and date, you can set time, date, format, so on and so forth. Video settings low, medium, high, maximum startup volume, you can adjust. Um, vehicle settings, comfort settings, exterior ambient lighting, 30 seconds, 1 minute, 2 minutes, power door locks, auto door locks, back to factory settings, various Ds, you can just turn, of course base, you can just mid-range, it's quite easy, trouble, balance, equalizer settings, very nice system to use, mute, auxiliary, fan, radio, back button, and seek, tuning, very nice system to use, indeed, quite easy. Down here you can find your very easy to use, air conditioning, Recycle settings, uh, different modes, facing, etc. Front defrost, one stage heated seats for the driver and for the passenger, your temperature adjustment and fan speed. Rear defrost, of course, um, iPod integration right there, storage for the small items. Six speed automatic transmission with the uh, manual shifting, plus and minus, plus for the upshift and minus for the downshift. Silky smooth automatic transmission, your cartlet right there, apply the brake, storage, two cup holders, storage right there, manual dim review mirror, as you can see, vent mirror, no illumination. Once again, your warning. Lights. Very good visibility. With my 63 stature, quite comfortable. Supportive seats, thigh support is pretty good. My groom is more than enough. Everything is very nice put together here. Right now, and shut her down. Let's grab the key and continue the tour. And when you open the door, the audio shut down. As you can see, a very nice feature.
Also very wide opening for your doors. Child safety locks. Two-tone door panels, also padded. Power window and speaker right there. Back seats isn't default to increase more cargo space. 60 quarter spot. Adjustable headdress. The back seat also has a fix system. 8.63 stature, quite easy to get in and out. Legroom is not an issue at all. And my headroom is more than enough. Cut hook. Storage box right there. Center panel. Soft seats. And there is no central armrest. Very good back visibility. Yeah, right now guys, let's check the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Trunk is huge, deep, tall, very wide, as you can see, ordination. Spare tire, plug it in jack. And here's your fuel cap. Lockable. Once again, very light doors. You can find same manual adjustment for the passenger seat minus seat hall. Glove compartment is not lockable. Very good size. Shelf up top. Very nice like but car indeed. For this price. Very cheap to buy, cheap to run. Reliable. Definitely nice one.
Well guys, hope you enjoy my in depth look at this 2014 Chevrolet Cobalt. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Wish you catch you next time. This is where I came from. Thanks for watching and take care guys.